First thing you're going to notice is the Fortnite gameplay in the background on a Call of Duty video. It's probably the first time I've ever done this because the Modern Warfare 2 beta is so bad that I can't even be, I can't play it. It's just horrible. I do not like it. I've played two or three games. I don't have any gameplay. I don't want to get any gameplay for it. I don't like the game. It's trash. It's not fun. I think that's pretty self-evident from all the videos I've made so far, trashing the game. But yeah, Fortnite gameplay because the game sucks that bad. Second of all, title of the video, 3,000 people to make this piece of shit game is unbelievable that that is actually a true fact. I know, it's hard to believe. 3,000 people made a carbon copy of Modern Warfare 2019 but made it worse. I know you're probably thinking that I'm somehow just capping, as the kids say, but I'm no capping, bro. No capping, bro. It says right here, there's articles after articles. Activision have over 3,000 people working on Modern Warfare 2, 2022. That's right, we have to put the 2022 behind it because, you know, these people are so creative, they can't actually think of a new name for a Call of Duty title. They just recycle old Call of Duty titles and try to live off the nostalgia and the greatness of those games. But you know what? This is an embarrassment of a game. Modern Warfare 2, 2022 is an embarrassment to previous Call of Duty titles, especially Modern Warfare 2, perhaps considered one of the greatest Call of Duties of all time, if not the greatest. Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, it's a toss-up, bro. Probably gonna go with Black Ops 2 because it wasn't as broken, but Modern Warfare 2 is more fun to me. Black Ops 2 was a better game, if that makes sense. But let's talk about this piece of trash, Modern Warfare 2 2022, that had 3,000 people working on it, which is unbelievable. It just goes to show that gaming and entertainment nowadays really is in a bad spot. Like no one has any creativity anymore. They can't even think of a new name for a Call of Duty title. They simply recycle old games, old ideas, old movies, or just cast ridiculous people into a movie scene. Like I just realized the Little Mermaid. I thought it was a troll, but the Little Mermaid, they're remaking Little Mermaid, but they're adding a black person. So that's how it works for creativity and entertainment in the 2022s is that they remake old movies because their new ideas suck. So you have to live off the past hype and nostalgia of good movies and TV shows shows and games or what they do they just remake old movies as well but cast minorities in it to somehow i don't know appease some wokeness or wokeism or whatever the hell that is going on at these studios because the new ideas and the new things are bringing to games and entertainment obviously 3,000 people can't even make a proper game like what in the hell were they actually doing for the last three years they had three years by the way three years man three years to make this game and what did they apply what did they do they just remade 2019 but worse it's just dumbfounding and just stupefying and just mesmerizing and unbelievable. And I just can't get it through my head that 3,000 people actually worked on this Call of Duty title. And this is what we get. Of those 3,000 employees, half of them had to be dudes who just go get coffee for the other dudes and get donuts and fluff their pillows at nighttime or something. Because if you got 3,000 people working on this franchise, on this game, and this is the product that you produce, and they were all being part of the creative process and working towards making a good game, oh my God, can you guys fire those people? Can we call HR and try to get them fired because they didn't have the right pronouns in their Twitter bios? Because holy shit, are those are some inept, horrible employees to make a video game. I mean, of course, I've made my previous videos dumping on this game, which was expected because I knew going in it was not going to be good. I could tell by the vibe check from other people in the Call of Duty community who had the inside scoop to what was going on with this franchise. But in my last few videos, I've been dumping on this game, or not dumping, just giving an honest opinion about how the game is going. And I would have to say that it's probably a pretty astute observation of how shit this game is. But of course, I know there's some of you who are enjoying this game. Rather, obviously, there are dudes who like getting kicked in the nuts and pay women a good price to have that done to them. So there's always something for somebody. There's always different strokes for different folks, as they said, rest in peace, Gary Coleman. But I'm not sure what's going to happen going forward here. I mean, I'm sure I'll have a ton of content to make fun of for Call of Duty the rest of the year, and the community is nothing but just a drama-filled, cheating cesspool of hilarious cod shields who always have something up their sleeve of dirty tricks or dirty tactics and something funny I can do to expose and make videos on these people and the community. But I don't foresee myself really playing this game, and I don't know if I'm even going to buy the game because what's the point? I guess maybe I need gameplay for Call of Duty videos, but I don't think I do. I don't think you guys really care what's in the background, especially after the game has launched. You've already seen the game of course when you first have the footage and no one's seen it it's a searchable video with the gameplay because people haven't bought the game or are looking for gameplay videos to look and see if they want to get the game or not and figure out what it looks like but other than that i really don't think even there's a point to buying this game i know i've said that before in the past i'm not buying this game but then you know obviously turn the 180 come back and buy the game or someone gifts it to me which i don't want no one please give this game to me i don't want that send me cash instead because i'll use that to go golfing or something instead of wasting it on this stupid game make sure you join my membership down there it's amazing help me feed my kids but I'm kind of really honestly for the first time more so than ever leaning towards not getting this game maybe it's also because I like to play on PC I'm a PC gamer because I'm an elite stud muffin gaming athlete top-notch PC ultimate superior gamer 
So maybe next weekend when I play it on PC, it might be a bit better. I might enjoy it a little more. I don't know. But as it stands right now on console, PlayStation 5, y'all can miss me with that shit. I'm not about it. I don't want to buy the game. I hope I don't buy the game. I hope I stand strong like the true alpha male league game athlete I am and definitely don't waste my money on this game. And if I were you and you have nothing to gain by playing this game like financial restitution because I feel as if I'm owed something for playing this game like a YouTube channel or whatnot, I don't know why anyone really would buy this game. You got to be one hell of a brain dead Call of Duty fanboy to think this game is great. Or you know what? Hey, different strokes for different folks. If you like the game, I'm not trying to pass judgment on you. You're probably a normal kid. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're a product of incest. I don't know. I'm not going to judge if you like the game or don't like the game. Personally, I don't like it. I'm contemplating on whether to buy it or not. I can't believe 3,000 people worked on this piece of junk game. It's a total trash game. It's probably the worst Call of Duty ever. I'm going to say this before we go anywhere here. I'm going to go out there on a really bold hot take. This is a real hot take. Real hot take. Vanguard is better than this. I will say it for sure. But like I said, maybe my decisions are a bit hasty. Maybe my judgment is a bit quick and sharp because I haven't played it on PC yet, which is what I prefer to play it on. I think the graphics are better. I like the mouse and keyboard now. I'm an elite gamer. What can I say? You guys are console peasants. I'm an elite master race PC gamer. So maybe I'll like it better than that. Probably not likely. And also, like I said, I've mentioned before too, I'm tired of Call of Duty. I've been playing this forever. I have a bias. I'm burnt out. I'm not new to the franchise. If you're new to the franchise, you're probably enjoying it because you don't have Call of Duty Burnout. You have nothing to compare it to. You have no frame of reference. You're just walking the conversation like you were Donnie and the Big Lebowski. And you need to get the hell out before Walter pulls a piece on you for stepping over the line. You know what I'm saying? But I can roll. I can play. But anyways... I don't know. I've got much else to add. I just want to tell you guys it's crazy that 3,000 people made this game. And Vanguard is better than this, as far as I can tell right now. Maybe, like I said, PC Master Race might win me over. Not likely. Do I buy it? Am I going to buy it? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't see for any reason why. I don't think you guys care about the gameplay in the background. And I don't see Fortnite no builds way better anyways. And I think anyone who's tried Fortnite no build would agree with me on that. And uh, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's hope things turn around in the future because as it is right now, it's really a lot of uninspiring games, a lot of uninspiring movies, entertainment. Finding something good to watch nowadays is, is harder than trying to find an alpha male at a COD Next event, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And that being said, I'm not eight thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, which you obviously did, subscribe, smash that motherfucker like button, and last but not least, and most importantly, stay black. Question authority. And don't let the honky cracker attempt to shape your tip and limit the chills like dollars, juice, carrots, seven, that was a flat news fake. I was a hit for the first case. White man, bring you. Damn!